seen you since that text when I was in LaGuardia. <laughs> well, I've always wanted to say the floor is yours, and I feel like this is like the only opportunity I'll ever get to do that. Well, we can, we can start in the beginning. I mean, you and I spoke before you... Uh, oh, start from the beginning at the top of the list. No, yeah. I mean, situations, situations like this. <laughs> Go hip-hop. Uh, well, you and I spoke right before you addressed... Uh, address the listeners without us and it was a quick combo i just said you don't get crazy and we'll be all right mm. was, wasn't mad at that addressing but uh but yeah i guess i guess we could start when i'm i'm walking through LaGuardia airport minding my business you know <laughs> with my notifications on mm. get a text message that reads hey man do me a solid take the next few pods off i said question mark joe then says exclamation point on the statement mm. I already, I already know what time it is when a man puts the little emoji thing over his own statement. Mm. So I know the spice. And, you know, come on, I'm about to get on Spirit Airlines. I don't need that type of karma in my life. <laughs> You're already paying for baggage. Yeah, it's crazy. I'm you know, paying $2 for peanuts and a water. <laughs> no fucking way. So I land in, uh, and some things transpire over the weekend. Some some misunderstandings, some, some assumptions, mm. uh... Some ideas, some some male ego mm. happened, some prideful things. Mm. Some things were said that were meant, some things that were said that were not meant. And I just stay in Atlanta. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good place to hide out. <laughs> Let things boil over. I went, I went to Magic City. I went to all these other places that looked uh, like they had COVID. Mm. <laughs> there you go. Now I was really sweet. irresponsible. The air. Magic City. <laughs> was really, really irresponsible. So me trying to be the responsible person was like, well, I'm, I have to quarantine here for two weeks now. Obviously. Mm-hmm. And we can mask this as some podcast beef. Well, hmm. I well I stay in uh in the comforts in Atlanta. of Atlanta. Yeah, but but from there I, I understand that a conversation was had in a backyard, and then only one side was told. So I'm I'm not going to speak for people. I was not present for that. Hmm. But I believe that did start somewhat of the spiral and build up uh, from where we have gotten. So that portion I'll leave for a second and then come back to my story. Hmm. Just trying to go in chronological order here. Sure. Parks, you were there for that conversation. Joe was there for that conversation. Mo was there for that conversation. I was not there for that conversation. Mm-hmm. And the the few pods I did watch when we weren't here, that word transparency just kept getting thrown around constantly. Mm. So I feel like we should try to stick with that theme because there's always three sides to every story and different interpretations of what happened and things of that nature. And, you know, I, I figure we could start this pod. We don't have to make it super lengthy, but I think people have some questions. Sure. Uh, and we were quiet when we were trying to figure everything out because when you jump the gun and do all that corny social media shit, all you're doing is being entertainment for the rest of the world. They don't particularly care. Right. <laughs> Not at all. They just want to see a bunch of people bicker online for their own entertainment and then move on to the next time someone else puts their personal life out there so they can bicker about it and laugh. Mm-hmm. We did not feel like doing that, so we decided to keep quiet in the midst of it. But we're here now, and some, and some, some things have been addressed, some things have been... I think talked about, dealt with, some, clarified some some feelings. You know, mm-hmm. Maul and myself and Joe met last week. It was it was it was a, a lot of grown man feelings. It was a little uncomfortable. It was a little. Mm. <laughs> um, and I'm not saying the word edit. <laughs> um, yeah, it, it, it was a it was a lot of feelings for three grown ass men in, in a living room. Maybe sure. necessary, but I think uncomfortable for all of us because we don't express ourselves as men, yeah. especially with friendships. Not at all. <laughs> We just know how to argue with our significant other. We don't really know how to argue with our friends. We barely know how to argue with our significant other. Let's be clear. Yeah, yeah, we're handicapped on that too. But but yeah, I'll I'll, I'll leave uh, that that timeline to you guys for that specific part. Okay, so after, well, you text me when uh, when Joe sent you the text Mm -hmm. and said that, um, well, you sent me the screenshot of what he said and then we spoke and I was like, what is that about? And you was like, I have no idea, whatever, whatever. And, you know, from there, it was just like, all right, whatever. So then Joe calls me and um, he's like, yo, what you doing? Um, 
I was doing some shit. And he was like, yo, like, yeah, come to the crib or whatever. But it was one of those weekends I was doing shit. And you were looking at apartments, I believe. Yeah, Jersey was just, Jersey just seems so far away when you it is got shit to do in the city. Yeah. So I was like, damn, like, I don't think I'm going to be able to get out there, but I. Right. So then um, I come in Tuesday. And um, so me and Joe start talking about everything. And uh, so we go in the backyard after we had a brief talk upstairs. Mm. And um, that's when he asked you to come outside. Yeah. I came and, out to try to mediate. Yeah. Did not go particularly well. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> and, you know, things were said mm. that I wasn't too fond of, that I don't take lightly to, mm. especially coming from people that you call your friend. Mm. Like, it's certain certain things you don't you don't say, it's certain lines you don't cross with friends. And me personally, I was just trying to figure out what the tension was, like what was going on for him to feel like texting Rory, yo, don't come in. Right. And I wasn't going to record without Rory. Like, this is, to me, that's corny. That's like if we go somewhere and they say everybody but Savon could come in mm. and we still go in. Mm. It's like, nah, we out. We all leaving. Mm. So I, I more so was like, listen, if it's something going on with you and Rory, I think we should all sit down and talk about it. That turns into a whole different conversation. And then things are said. And then at that point, it's like, all right, well, fuck this. And I just, I'm like, I'm out. Because at that point it was disrespect, and I don't, I'm not gonna stand in disrespect with my niggas. Like I don't, I don't get down like that. I'd rather just remove myself. Mm -hmm. So that turned into no, no communication at all for me. Mm -hmm. Like I wasn't speaking to nobody. I was talking to Rory like every now and and then, like every other couple of days, Mm -hmm. just checking in. But then it was, it just felt like, you know, it wasn't a a sense of urgency to kind of correct things. Mm. At least that's how I took it. So I was like, all right, well then, you know, it's going to fold out. It's going to unfold how it's going to unfold. Like eventually things will get talked about and, you know, we'll sit down or whatever. But, you know, sometimes you got to let time pass and let things happen in order for that to happen. Sure. So um, to me, the the one thing I took from it, it was a lot, a lot of things that was revealed in that for me, like just paying attention to actions and, you know, things that people were saying things that, you know, it was a lot of people that exposed themselves mm. during that. And, you know, you read a lot of things and it was, it was just fun reading like a lot of the, what people thought was going on. Uh, yeah. And what people thought was happening. Like that was just like, oh, you know, you laugh at it. But it was just, it was telling for, you know, when you start to see some people say things online and some people saying things and other conversations with people, it's like, like, oh, okay, I always knew you was a fuckboy, but I didn't know to what extent you were People saying boy. things in other conversations to strangers or to you know, just... Well, t- just to people in general. Not necessarily strangers, but not like people you really... I really know. I don't really care people for People that, like that you thought maybe wouldn't speak this speak this way? People that... You know, how you, you know how you know people that... It's like, we cool, but we ain't fly like that. You know what I mean? And in passing, they'll say things like, yo, you know... you. Y'all keep doing your thing and this, that, and the third, and mm-hmm. soon trying as they to get see, like you, motherfuckers. Yeah, see, soon as they see the first sign of shit not working out or shit going left, mm-hmm. you know what I mean. You start seeing people say things, and you like, damn. Like, I, I mean, I never really fucked with you like that, but now I really don't. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I might not ever like you're like invisible to me at this point, right? And that happened to a lot of people from like just me watching and I'm sure. And, and and just seeing things that was, you know, being said and watching how people were acting. And it was like, you know, you start to realize like this, this, this industry, this, this, <coughs> this field that we're in is not for people that are cut from a certain cloth, man. Not at all. It's just not. Because niggas don't have morals, niggas don't have integrity. Mm-hmm. Niggas don't, you know, they they do anything for a click, a like, a to to make it seem like they they know somebody or they fuck with somebody. It's like it was just real weird to see that. I always knew it, but to see it unfold was just like this shit is corny. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like and and I'm thinking about it like cuz I know what's really going on. I'm like, no, this is real a real issue amongst like a friends crew of guys, and, guys, yeah, like yeah. friends that that built something together and now it's like you know, it's it's just a a bump in the road. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, okay, cool. Like, we'll deal with it when we deal with it. But to see how certain people were reacting from that, things that they were saying, mm. I was like, oh, yeah. Like, this is why I don't fuck with people. And I this is it. why I'm like, I, I stay to myself a lot. I don't really like being in the mix because mm. 
y'all sit here and act like y'all fuck with us and y'all do this and then the first sign of you know turmoil it's like oh yeah them niggas yeah I, t- I knew that shit wasn't gonna work yeah I knew them niggas was finished I- it was a lot of that and it's like yo fam what are you like huh there's like, a lot we- of people preying on the downfall of the JBP I'm sure no absolutely oh, of course. But, and, but I knew that right. but to see it from certain people yeah. to me was like damn like you too <laughs> Like, I actually give you dap in conversation when I see you. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, it's like, oh, okay. So now I really got to become like the nigga that walk in the room and make it awkward and don't talk to nobody. Mm. Because all of y'all are fake. Mm. And all of y'all are secretly getting on your hands and he's praying that shit don't work out. Mm. And for me, it wasn't even about, like I told, you no, know, John Rory, I, was, I wasn't, it, it wasn't so much about coming back and potting for me. It, mm. You know, I could, I love it. I love what we do. I love what we built and, and all of that. But- to me, it was more so like, yo, is this still respect as friends here? Like, fuck, like, performing and, and entertainment. Like, right. as friends, is it still respect here? Right. Because if it's not, then let it be that, and we can go our separate ways as men. And, you know, it ain't, it's not enemies. We're not enemies, but right. we just, we don't bang this, like this that. This doesn't work. Yeah. 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 So yeah. it wasn't, you know, on one hand, it was like, damn, I felt bad reading shit from fans saying, like, damn, you know, y- y- y'all are part of my life. Like, I subscribe to this, like... Mm-hmm. You know, so it's like, damn, like you feel bad about that. And like I said, when we go on the road and we meet people and we hear stories and, you know, you, There's you a lot remember of people the, that this this podcast changed their life. Absolutely. Their life. Yeah. So so you thinking about that. And I'm like, damn, I want it to work. But more importantly, is this still respect amongst us as men? Mm-hmm. And that was my only thing. Like when we had a talk at Joe's house, it was like, yo, listen, the business is the business. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Like we can we can fix that or we can't. Mm-hmm. But. Is if as long as respect is still in play, mm. I as me personally, I feel like anything can be so, resolved. Mm. Absolutely. But if there's no respect, then there's nothing to talk about. Like I don't even. And that was the part of the the conversation me and Joe had when I left. I yeah. felt like there wasn't any. Re- and you was there. Yeah. And I was like, and I can understand how you felt that way. At that yeah. Time. And I'm yeah. like, wait, yeah. what? Like, yeah. okay, like now I don't even know what's going on. Yeah. So let me just like remove myself. Because, Let things cool off. Yeah. Like I don't even know what this is anymore. Like I'm, I don't know if I'm talking to my nigga or I'm talking to some nigga that I just met. Like, mm. you know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. now I was like, all right, let me just leave this alone and let it play how it's going to play. But, you know, the more important thing is, you know, as, as men, you just sit down and you talk and you get your feelings out and you, you know, you express yourself. Yeah, I felt like this or I felt like that. And, and you know, in that conversation, you start to figure out like, OK, I see where I could have, you know, maybe said something at this time and addressed something. Mm-hmm. And maybe it wouldn't have translated over into something else. I think you and me are kind of similar in the uh, stance that sometimes we'd rather just walk away. I don't know if it's like a Libra thing or something. I don't want to get into astrology Mm -hmm. or anything. But Mm -hmm. instead of addressing some shit, sometimes just be like, fuck it, I'm going to go over here and just chill out for a little while and, you know, let's see what happens. Well, you know what it is? Me, personally, man, I'm just, I'm more so of, I I, I observe, I'm I'm observant Mm -hmm. and I watch people. Mm -hmm. Niggas could say anything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this is, I'm just a witness to this. Like, people, they say anything. Yeah. But when you watch people and you just observe them, like, you'll see exactly what's going on and you know who they are mm-hmm. so a lot of the times where i'm just quiet in the room it's just me observing and just you know just watching people mannerisms and things that they do and you know how they treat other people how they talk to other people what they say about people because i'm like damn if you say that about this person and they're not around i know i'm being talked about when i'm not around you right. know what i'm saying you just observe people so sometimes you need time to step back and just let things Happen in front of you and just watch. Yeah, and this is shit that we talked about. You know what I'm saying? And like I told Joe, I I felt the way about him having. And this is no disrespect to Isa or, or, or Ish, uh-huh. like at all. But I told Joe when we was at the house, I said, "Yeah, I felt some type of way about you having somebody, some other people come on the show. Mm. It could have been anybody. I didn't give a fuck who it was. It could have been Starsky and Hutch. I don't give a fuck who it was. Like I just it it feels a way because I know how I move and I wouldn't do that." Mm. I would be like, yo, nah, fuck that. We shutting shit down. Let's fix this. Let's get this right. If we can't, then we can move on. But my priority would have been, I'm fixing this with my homies because this isn't right and we got to fix this. And then that, if you can't fix it, then so be it. Okay. Yeah, but you tried. Right. You tried. But I felt the way about that because I'm like, well, damn, like my phone worked. I know Rory's phone worked. I saw y'all. I was here when he called you out back. Uh, it was maybe a week after the blow up and it sounded like things went kind of well you know what I mean like I said it was never I was never upset about anything Mm -hmm. like I said that conversation in the backyard just revealed a lot Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying and I was like damn like all right right, well cool let me step away Mm -hmm. 
But then, like I said, once I see things moving in a way where it's like, because that to me, that's saying something when we built something together mm -hmm. and we have an issue. Mm -hmm. And then you tell one of our co-hosts, yo, listen, don't come in. Mm -hmm. I'm like, well, damn, that's something I think that all three of us should have sat down and talked about before you made that decision. Sure. But okay, cool. I was in, your, in the moment, you was mad about something. Cool. I get it. I know how that goes. But after that, like, I, I understand the whole the show must go on thing. I get mm -hmm. that. That was my next question. But my thing is, th th does the show go on without trying to resolve something first? Or does the show go on after you try to resolve? And you seem like, all right, this is just, we're not going to be on the same page. We're not going to be on the same chord. Cool. Let's just go our separate ways. It's not, we're not enemies, but you know, this, it ended. Cool. Mm -hmm. That happens. You know, you know, I'm fine with that. Yeah. But I felt some type of way about that because to me, it's saying something. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It's saying like, yo, you're replaceable. And that may be, listen, I'm 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 nobody. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't I don't ever look at myself as bigger than nobody or, or less than anybody. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, you can get somebody to sit here. But my thing is, as a friend, it's certain ways you handle things. You know what I'm saying? Like right. when there's years between you and somebody, it's certain ways you handle things. Mm -hmm. Like you go about things a certain way. You give people that certain mm -hmm. respect to be like, yo, listen, let's try to fix this. And if we can't, then we go our separate way, which is, I'm totally, I've done that before plenty of times. Like, mm. you try to fix shit, don't work out, move on. But to me, that was saying something. It's like, you would rather put two people in these seats as opposed to trying to fix what happened and moving on. You understand what I'm saying? And maybe that's just my thinking, but I think I, the, I think the thought process, was, pardon my interruption, uh, was while things are being worked out, let's continue potting and, you know, ice and ish. Put yeah, aside but, their but to me, life. but to me, but to me, that's not that's not how you do things. That's not how you do things because you, in doing that, to me, you you you, you risk a lot. Mm. You risk a lot. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, one, you risk what the show is and what people have come to love mm -hmm. and come to support. Mm -hmm. You risk that, and sure. if it works, it works. Fine. That's not. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, why why gamble with that? Is my is my thought process like why even gamble with that? Why even try to make that a new optic for people out of nowhere? You understand what I'm saying? Like to me, that's that's just what I was thinking. But okay, cool, I get it. Pod, record, do your thing. But to me, I would never do that. Mm. Like I would shut everything down and be like, yo, like I said, because it's not like we're just some random people that just met, you know, at a game or something and just decided to do something. Like it's friendship. It's, it's years here. It's no history. Doubt. It's it's real life shit that niggas have went through together. S six weeks would have been a long time to not do anything. By the way, though, who said it had to be six weeks? This could have been resolved in a week. It could have been resolved. In two I mean, weeks. I think I think the time was a little important just because the blow up definitely happened as a mix of all of us kind of reacting off emotion on certain things. So I wasn't mad at some time passing before we continued to yeah, react I'm off not, emotion. It's not the time. Like, I don't but I will say that conversation three of us had at Joe's house last week, it was a pretty fucking easy conversation. Like it, it wasn't crazy. Mm. It did make me think, man, maybe, maybe we could have done this shit like the three week of. Yeah. But I do like the process of all right, maybe everyone kind of need to step back. Oh, this yeah, is this is back, it, I, it, it was kind of like when you when you go get a oil change and then you find out everything is wrong with your car mm. Mm. <laughs> and it's like alright we have to fix this part let's fix this part let's take this moment to like really get this shit back together and even on a, a chemistry level too because I mean this show is based off of actual friendship between all of us Yeah. so if that's fucked up there is no business to begin with I mean there'll be a, there'll be a business but it won't be as lucrative or successful right. so yeah did, did I understand Joe's text sure him and I had, had tension. I listened back to episodes. It sounded fucking horrible. Mm. Sounded like shit. The last month was bad. We, we didn't seem like friends. It was trash. Now, is there a way for us to go about that in which we all discuss moving forward on how to deal with that type of shit? Yes. But... Did we not seem like friends or were we not acting as friends? I want to be real clear. Uh, with words. Between you and I, we were not acting like friends. But to, I mean, the viewers, they don't know. It seemed like we weren't. They don't actually know. What's, what it seems like never matters. Only what is matters. Mm -hmm. So I want to I want to keep perspective in its proper place. It's not we didn't seem, we didn't behave. That's a fact. Yeah, that's a big fact. Big fact from from everyone's point of view and how we were expressing it and how we were trying to fix that stuff was not the healthiest of ways. No, no, <laughs> to say the least. It was not. 
Um, but I mean, that type of that type of shit sometimes does take time. If you kind of jump the gun on it, and we get back on the podcast for the listeners' sake, like. I heard them when they were like, fam, can you at least tell us something? This is such a big part of our lives. Yeah. It's a big part of our lives because of the chemistry that's here and why it works so well. And mm-hmm. if that's not right, us just hopping on fucking camera, it's going to get worse than what Joe and I sitting here like, let's fucking fight and don't come to the pod and blow ups in the back fucking yard. Like, mm-hmm. that's just going to continue. Yeah. So, so sometimes you have to give time, time and kind of work through your own personal shit too. Mm-hmm. And then bring that back to the three of y'all because it's all interconnected at some point. Sure. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I mean, a month, I know in the internet, a month is like 10 years. Wasn't that long. Right. Mm-hmm. I understand we, we record twice a week. So much shit happens. But no, I think a month was a good amount of time for us to try to really get our shit back together and figure out people's perspectives. I learned mesh. I didn't know about Joe and how he viewed shit. Same with more myself. I didn't even realize how I viewed shit. So mm. it was it was an important time amongst friends that have been fucking sitting here for going on what our seventh year of doing this shit yeah sometimes the lines can get blurred between what's a podcast and what's what's real and what's not Mm -hmm. and when you don't address those types of things immediately and find out exactly what that gray area is you end up asking your co-host if he wants to fight on air (laughs) like weekly that's just what happens (laughs) so you know, I think I think it was a, a necessary process, which we're still working through. It's not like it's fucking amazing, but right. you know, it was it was a, a great step for the three of us to kick it at Joe's, and I think we got a lot of shit out, more or less. So, you know, how you feeling? You're cool. <laughs> <laughs> I feel cool, man. It's nice to see you guys again. It's nice to have you back. Yeah, I wish I wish I had this whole fucking salacious story of we're back and this is what happened and this is what was said and no, nah, I was fucking some friends working through some shit. Mm. Some lines were blurred between friendship, respect, business, podcasting, and we had to work through it and get an understanding of where we was at to make everyone feel comfortable and moving forward. And that that comes first before we start looking at fucking, you know, contracts and business shit. We gotta understand how we're all viewed here. Um, you know, as, as a pod. Sure. So, yeah. I hope that wasn't too political. I, I, I don't have a headline for anyone. I'm sorry. It wasn't headline material. I can make something up if you want. Yeah, you should. Uh, <laughs> no, it wasn't. Yeah, it's not headline material. But, it, you know, it again, I, I think that it, it was necessary. I think that, you know, sometimes you need time away from people. Sometimes you need time away from something. Just stand back and just watch and just observe shit mm-hmm. and just see how shit plays out. Um, but like I said, for me, it just it's all about respect. Like I don't care about all that other shit. To me, is just like you know, layers of of the cake. But mm-hmm. like the foundation, respect. You can't compromise that, and especially not with friends. Especially not with niggas that you know have history and 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 you've been through things with, and you you've seen their character. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because now in days there's so much fake shit going on. Like when you when you got real niggas in your corner and real niggas in your life, you gotta bro, keep them, man. Cause these niggas out here, it's a lot of fake shit going on. True. And that's why for, for me, that's why I said it was never about, you know, the business, whatever. Like we could work that out or we can't. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But respect, as long as respect is still in order and respect is still there, you can get through anything. You could you can it's nothing that can't be resolved as long as you respect each other. And that's why for me it was like, yo, is there still respect here? Cool, yes. I right, then we can we can move on. We can so, fix this. Yeah, so do we all feel mutually respected in the room? Yeah, I think Currently. so. Oh, I mean, I can I, speak I, for I, me. I do. I, I, I can speak for me. Yeah. I mean, we spoke. We spoke at Joe's house. You know what it saying? was a, 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 a lengthy, lengthy, lengthy conversation. <laughs> yeah. And cool. that was my and that was my only concern. And that was my concern with, with Rory. Like he'll tell you the whole time, you know. We was we was talking and texting. It was like, fam, it's just about respect. Mm. All that business shit, like that, can be taken care of. Mm. Like to me, that's to me that was even corny. Mm. Like I don't want to talk about bit. Like like what are we talking about? Right. This is supposed to be the easiest shit in the world yeah. for us. Like, we, you know we, what I'm we're not like, we're not those dudes. Yeah. Like this is to me. This is 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 very simple. It's like I don't even like I don't even like talking to my brother like about like he manages me. Mm-hmm. But like I feel like shit that we deal with, we could talk about it. You know what I'm saying? Like it's that's where I'm at with it, and maybe yeah. that you shouldn't. Like I said, I think that me and Rory, a big part of our mistake was putting the friendship before the business a lot of the times. Mm. And when you do that, sometimes in business, 
shit can go left. For sure. So you got to take, so I take some accountability for that. You know what I mean? Like, all right, cool. I see times where shit, I've been like, you know what? Let's keep this business because if we continue to just put the friendship first, sometimes shit can go away and then you look back and be like, oh, damn, well, I thought this and I thought that. And it's like, well, damn, like you never said nothing. Mm. So you take accountability for that. But to me, even in that, it was, I didn't even want to talk about that. That was corny to me. Mm. It's like, I don't want to talk about numbers and business. It's like, what are we talking about? Right. This is fun. This is supposed to be easy. This is supposed to be... I get it. One day we looked up and we had a massive audience and now people want to invest money into it. I get it. But for me, it was all about sitting here kicking it with my friends and, and laughing and busting it up about shit that we love, music and the industry and shit that's going on mm-hmm. and business. Like when, Once the money comes into play, to me, it's like it, it's corny when that starts to affect things. Like I don't care about money like that. Right. I've had money. I've been broke. You know what I'm saying? Like I've, I've known niggas that had millions and are broke. Mm-hmm. And they'll tell you like, fam, as long as you got people that love you around you and respect you, it don't even matter. Mm-hmm. When you a kid growing up and you don't have no money, you don't know nothing about money. You with your homies, your cousins, you you having fun. You living the best times of your life. Real shit. To me, that's what this is supposed to be. But it's like, mm-hmm. okay, we getting paid for it. But I don't want it to affect the friendship and the respect. Mm-hmm. That's corny to me. And I, whatever I got to do to avoid that, I'll avoid it. Yeah, and that was kind of going into that conversation that the three of us had at, at Joe's, where it was like. All right, if the pod got to end, that's cool. Things end. That's mm-hmm. part of life. Like, that's part of the process. That's not the end of the world if this ends. But if it ends off some avoidable shit that we could have fixed that maybe all of our egos or all of our pride or, you know, certain just man shit stops it, that's corny then. If mm-hmm. if it's got to end on some real issues, cool. That's that's just life. But, right. yeah, ending on some corniness, just that I couldn't see myself doing that. And that was you one of the try first to work things that shit said out. to me. Like when he, he, we spoke, he was like, yo fam, like if it's, if we not pardon anymore, cool. But I want it to be over something real. Yeah, I don't want it to be over to like business. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. I was like, fam, like it's it's not even about that for me. I'm just on my respect. Mm. Like I, shit Rory was talking to me about. I'm like, fam, I'm talking about respect. <laughs> Niggas was hitting my phone. Yo, don't fuck up the bag. Fuck that money, nigga. I don't give a fuck about a bag. I can get a bag anywhere on this planet. I'm talking about respect. I don't go where I'm not respected. I don't hang out where I'm not respected. I don't fuck with niggas that don't respect me. Period. I don't give a fuck about no money. I don't give a, like that was never a thing for me. I don't care about money. I don't put stock into money like that. Like some of my best friends are broke, mm-hmm. but Same. they will do anything for me. Same. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I don't. So money is not. I don't care about money, and that's that was the one thing that was annoying me that people kept texting me and kept calling me and. Like, That's yo, what everyone I don't, thought. I'm everyone, like, fam, I don't, I was, don't care yeah. about money. Stop talking to me about money. Like, I don't care about that. I'm yeah. talking about respect. That's all I'm here to talk about. And people understood. Like, oh, okay, then I understand your stance on that. And I was, that was it. Hmm. Royce, love him to death. Like, he called me FaceTime for hours. Shout out to Royce. And my thing with him was, yo, I'm just talking about respect. Everybody keep calling me, talking about money and, you know, business. I'm talking about respect. Hmm. That's it. You know what I'm saying? And, and and anybody that knows me knows that that's all I care about. Like, I don't care about money. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's not what I put everything on. It's good to have money, yeah. It's mm. good to make money, yeah, absolutely. But when you start talking about friendship and respect and, you know, people that you thought was in your corner and was, you know, going to ride and hold you down, mm. I don't, I'm not talking about money when it's come to shit like that. I don't care what niggas got in their pockets. I don't care what niggas got in their accounts. Like, I don't care about that. And yes, that's where we fuck up in male friendships is we just either assume shit or don't say a fucking word and things can get cleared up real easy and perspectives can get changed very quickly too once you understand what someone else is thinking and we just shut the fuck up and just hope things will change or oh, I'll, I'll catch something that'll make me feel better about the whole situation and I learned that through this whole month like yeah, amongst male friends we gotta talk more. Like yeah. and kind of immediately, like we need to get on to. Hey, I didn't really fuck with that, mm-hmm. and do it not in the male way that we do things, as far as like you know anger or emotion or you know to fucking machismo shit. Like no, it's just let's talk, man. Right. We're, we're actually friends. We actually respect each other. We can talk about this shit. It's easy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's it's way easier once you strip that whole fucking pride and ego shit you have. Like that that should never tear down. We've seen how much that's torn down so much shit before. Yeah. Like it's so much it's the same, easier same to song. sit to just sit and be like, "Yo, this is how I feel." Right. 
And I know that's easier said than done, and it sounds so simple, but it's it's way more effective than the other shit. But yeah, I, I think that kind of summed up where we was at. Yeah, so I think how how everyone was feeling before we all actually spoke in the midst of uh, that hiatus and us not speaking. Where where are you at with it, Joe? Tossing it to Parks. Okay. <laughs> what do you what, what's what, what do you have for me? What I'm you? tossing to Parks. Okay. Uh huh. Well, Parks. I mean, you and I were speaking through the entire the time. whole ordeal. Yeah. Um, but we did never kind of get into like where you felt the being the in between person of this. Uh, I mean, it was awkward. It all started. We had a, a chat after the pod, and everyone was kind of saying they were a little burnout, and you guys expressed uh, lack of clarity and some business things, which I expressed to Ian, and I told you I was going to as you walked out the door, and then shit hit the fan. And I'm of the mindset that the show goes on. We employ quite a bit of people here, and everyone makes money. Stopping the show for an extended period of time while everyone works out their issues, to me, doesn't really make a lot of sense. So I understand why y'all feel slighted by that, but at the same time, people need to earn a living, myself included. Oh, no, I, I totally get that. I don't I, I, understand I, why they feel slighted by it. I mean, I do because I'm listening. Like, I hear feelings. No, I mean, I, I, I was... Let me ask you two I, I questions. Was, I was understanding of, let me ask, uh, let of me, the show going on. Let me I, ask I you two I questions. Understanding of it. I'm, I'm kind of glad we're here, though I'm mad that we're here. But since we're here, God damn it, let's get to it head on. Let me ask you two a question, right? Because things... Listen, I am used to being the butt of a joke. <clears throat> let me start there. Nobody has been laughed at in their career more than me. Let me tell you guys that in my head... I get a good laugh sometimes when you guys laugh, people out there, because I don't know if you would laugh if some of this shit happened to you. So my question to you gentlemen is this. What did y'all take it to mean when Jay-Z said to me at Highland Ballroom or whatever event that was that we were at? Hammerstein. So what? To say Palooza. When he said so what to me, what did you two gentlemen take that to mean? How did y'all uh, process that? What was the context in the so what? Yeah, re retell me the story. The I mean, I know it's there, but I The story forgot. was, look at Hove Avengers. Found a way to leak Link Hove, <laughs> Link Hove into this. The, yeah, story, the story was, it, throughout my career, I've said a lot of really unsavory things about that man. Mm -hmm. Mad of it. Mad of it. And he to you. So? <laughs> so what? <laughs> mm -hmm. I... The part that I played was I've said a lot of shit that maybe I could have said different. I could have moved different. I could have done something different. In my head, maybe I justified it. Maybe I was like, yo, but when you became the president and then my album got pushed back and then remember you, it took my beat. That was my beat. That was my first single. And then, yo, even in the front, when you was like, yo, give me that beat for yo, And you said Skane. Skane was my A&R. At the time, like, yo. And then you said J.R. Ryder did this with marijuana and the marijuana was a thing for me. <laughs> I spent however many years getting you, Maul, to attempt to reconcile that. You remember? Mm -hmm. A long time, right? That was a prominent conversation in our home, right? Mm -hmm. And we went to try to execute that, and it didn't work for a lot of years, right? Years. Mm -hmm. Say the years. A lot of years. Mm -hmm. And somehow, a few years ago, the three of us End up at, where was it? Duce Palooza, Hammerstein Ballroom. Hammerstein Ballroom. Hove is there. The three of us are there. And that was that moment we were looking for at the 4040 that time. <laughs> <laughs> and the bowling alley. And the bowling alley. And the bowling alley. Uh -huh. All of the times we tried to get an apology, this was the moment. Mm -hmm. I waited 14, 15 years for this moment. And know what he said? Before I could even finish my grievance. <laughs> Are you trying to give him your grievances? We were there to talk about it. We, <laughs> we was laughing up. We was having a blast. Hey. And he said, hold yo, on, man. hold on. I got some grievances I got to get to you. <laughs> so, yo, it man. Fun, it's a fun, fun little area. Yo, <laughs> man, the beat back and forth. We were having fun. That band, but, hey, before I could get the word beat out, he said, so what? I panned right to you, Ma. <laughs> know what you did? Had the biggest laugh of your fucking existence. <laughs> Whoa! Mm -hmm. A ball, right? Mm -hmm. Rory, you too. I laughed. 
It's funny. He's a yeah. sarcastic you, person. He delivers laugh. his sarcasm well. But what did it mean? It, it but, what, what but, but what did it mean? So? And what did y'all take it to mean? I don't want to come off like, uh, uh, I don't think I can come off any more insensitive than the public probably believes me to be. <laughs> but probably because of instances like these. <laughs> so sure. I don't want to be insensitive and I don't, I don't want to gaslight. But as you gentlemen speak, I hear all in my head. Saying, so what? Yeah, but it's different. So I'm that's asking that's how y'all. Example. It's different. It's though. a perfect example to no, me. It's, no, it's not. I give me more. Completely disagree. You didn't, give you it didn't, to me. You didn't. You didn't build. You didn't build anything with Jay. Y'all weren't friends. Yeah, not friends. <laughs> uh, your chemistry and actual okay. friendship didn't base on the ability for you, Jay, and Def Jam to put out music. Like yeah, it, it was totally different. completely different. Jay didn't owe oh, you, you thought, owe you nothing. Us, the three of us, all owe each other something because we're friends. What do you think I owe y'all? Uh, as friends, uh, I think uh, back to the respect thing and uh, the understanding thing, and and in the entitlement thing. What do you think I owe you, Rory? Oh, just as I'm not talking anything outside of friendship, and that comes down to respect. What do respect you owe someone in friend? I'm asking. Respect and communication amongst each other. I owe that to strangers in the street. <laughs> uh, a different level of it. Not really. Yeah, it is. Not to me. Okay. That's, you I owe mean, strangers that's in you. the street respect? Yes, yeah, small. I respect people in the, no, in no, the street no, as I go you about. That's how I carry myself. No, no, that's no, how no. I carry myself. The same level of respect. That is how I carry myself. That's not what I asked you. I said, do you owe them that? A stranger. Do you owe a stranger respect? I freely give it. Do you owe a stranger respect? No. Okay, so then you can't you can't say that but, to my friends. But you don't. You owe friends respect. I don't believe that. Yes, you do. You don't believe that you owe you, your I, friends respect. I don't believe listen, that. If it's one thing I've learned throughout this, I, I'm never gonna expect anybody to move how I move. So I, that's fine. If you don't, if the you don't feel that way, that's fine. Mom, I'm just, the I'm word just telling you oh, the way. And Rory, the word oh speaks to entitlement, and I don't have entitlement even in my friendships. You I owe, am appreciative you of owe, my friends. You owe your friends respect. I am grateful for my friends, and because of that, my behavior just, I mean, I would hope it exudes that, no? You owe, you owe your friends respect, and then in this case, when your friends, you built something with your friends, and your friends have built something with you, and have created something with you, and have grown something with you, absolutely you owe them respect. One, one million percent, there's no way yeah. around it. I feel, I, feel I, you Me, I feel I owe my friends respect. Me personally, I feel I owe my friends respect. That's why they're your friends. Is you, you respect each other. Which is also why I apologized once we started talking about all our tension and took some accountability of how I was moving with certain things. Mm -hmm. I explained where they came from, mm -hmm. but I took accountability in saying, no, I do owe you that respect where I should not sit here and say that to my friend. I should have went to my friend and said, hey, not feeling what's going on here. Mm -hmm. I don't want to get caught up in semantics, but even as y'all speak the word oh bothers me i don't That's cool. i don't have a friendship where i feel like i am in debt which is kind of to my next point that i've shared with you gentlemen well, in I mean, private debt and but, are connected, but, 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 not but we'll share it here the complete saying everyone internalizes things differently so even when you talk about respect that would have to be processed through everyone's individual processor right sure So you could you could be receiving respect and feel like you're not. Yeah. Right? Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. How people perceive things and how they internalize things and you know, different experiences in your life can have you. And the line cut and the lines yeah. can be blurred sure. in friendship and business, yes. And people value things differently than their friends do. I take offense to Maul saying the show should have stopped. Every time he say it, I'm a I'm a fine issue. Why? With him saying the show should have stopped. Why? Explain. Well, I dedicate my entire life to this. End statement. This is not something where I come in here twice a week and talk for a few hours. My entire life's work lands me here. What are you talking about day one? I don't view the days the way that y'all view them. This is a life series. Okay. All of the yesterdays, let me get my shit off. All of the yesterdays got to today. 
when it's your life's work, you don't leave it that way. You don't just leave it to chance. You don't just leave it up in the air with some of the ways that the three of us have handled communication. You do not do things that way. That's how Joe views it. The show has to go on. I don't have the luxury of sitting in my feelings. I don't. Joe feels a lot of things to the people that might not be aware. I feel mad shit. At no point am I at liberty to come in here and just have feeling vomit. Me. I ask you gentlemen my next question. Where else, what other place in the world can this happen? What other place in the world can y'all leave some shit and then just return to it like Joe, well, this happens uh, all the time. And and let's and let's also give uh the facts of of everything. Yeah. Let's 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 not mislead the listeners of what's going on. You and I spoke not in a healthy way shortly after uh the whole text message thing and and mm. I think we went dark for one episode mm. prior to after the thing in the backyard. Mm. No, you and I spoke. And the conversation was, "Hey, Everyone go in their respective corners and let's try to figure out what's wrong with this show and what we can do to fix it. So do not say, don't try to mislead these listeners to think that Ma and I just said, fuck this podcast and fuck everything that we've built and left. It was a conversation that we had. Did we, did the three of us handle it improperly? hundred percent. Right, taking that, mad that, accountability. That is what but happened. To, but to say, you're not taking mad accountability. But, but if you leave say, out the fact that that is what happened. To, to we're not say, talking about to your that intention. This, that we didn't all agree that we were going to take a second. And if you want, and you came back, cool. I'm not even on the side of the show should have just stopped. I'm not mad at that shit. I'm, I'm cool. I, I get both perspectives on it, but it wasn't something I was focused on. I was focused on how we could get the four of us back together on this fucking podcast. That's where my focus was. And I think that was apparent in the conversations that we had, conversations I had with more getting things correct in the most timely manner possible. And no way was this abandoning something that anyone had built for their entire lives or invested in their entire lives. It was a conversation that you and I had, and it was, yo, everyone get in their corners. This, this might be necessary. So I'm not going to let you mislead people to think that Ma and I just abandoned ship on some shit. Like, it's just not what happened. There's only one problem with what you're saying. We did what we said we were going to do? They were there. What you mean? It's, I don't have to mislead anyone. And that's why I want, I want to provide y'all the space to say anything that you feel you need to say, not only to, 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 the, to the viewership, whoever that mm. is. I don't know who's out there. But there's an audience that you left. That's a fact. We don't have to go talk about the why and the whens and, oh, fuck. Nah, dude. You're going to wait. Yeah, what? that, yeah, that. That happened. Am I? Am I off? Yeah. Am, no, no, uh, that I, that happened. Niggas had to scramble, Roy. No, I understand an audience. Niggas was left had to scramble I, to keep together a multi-million dollar outfit. Yeah, we friends, and yeah, we cool. Yeah, niggas don't give a fuck about money. That money, that shit don't mean nothing when Maul say it. No, why? Because he's saying it to a nigga that don't give a fuck about money. Know what you know where you can get that from? From my actions. You ain't got to check Joe Tone. Hey, none of my friends ever got to listen to Joe Tone about nothing. I got a long credit history with all my friends. That leads me to the next part that bothers me about some of the things. Let's skip over your point that you just made. Which point? Of when, when Maul's <laughs> saying that, repeat what you just, just, just said. Because I want to make this clear. Credit right history. before right before that. Oh, you asking me? Fuck, my memories. The band in the show? Oh yeah, facts. Oh, oh okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We don't I'm sorry. need to explain it to people. Yeah. No, no, no. They was there. Mo, Hold on. Mo's saying he feels a way. Feels a way that okay, the show went on with other people, and you saying we had to scramble to keep this shit going. Okay, when you're viewing it, and again, perspective. None of us communicated of a show continuing. It doesn't feel like it's a priority to fix shit. So yes, when Maul says when I that's saw two people come on, job, I get that. Wait the second, but and that's my thing. You're right. You're right. Whose job is that to check before we shake the tree? I'm asking you. Job to check what? I'm asking you. I spoke to and you. And I'm asking you. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. I spoke to you. You said, let's all get in our respective corners. Like, that's why this is kind of semantics, man, to me. Do I understand that you 
wanted to continue the show and needed to continue the show contractually with other uh, advertisers and things of that nature. Uh, we have a bunch of people here that that make a lot of money off this podcast. Fully, fully, then a, fully then a, understand then address that. your thinking that I should make a phone call to people to say, hey, you can't pay your rent this month. I never, I I never said to, you should Because I need that. to go get with Rory and Maul to see what's going on with us, with the three of us. I never said you shouldn't do that. Tell me what I'm supposed to say to the people that keep calling the phone that I'm turning down the business for when they say, hey, what's going on? When I walk into my dad's house Sunday morning for breakfast and now my fucking family is asking what's going on. Those are things you have to factor in when you shake the tree. No, am I off? Yeah, but yeah. do you understand why the, sh the tree was shaking though? I don't, I don't, I think you're skipping over that part. Give it to me. Res the respect if I'm not lost. If I, from yeah, I'm talking about for me. Respect. Yeah. All right, let's put it like this. If Slaughterhouse, you having beef with Slaughterhouse, internal mm -hmm. issues, business, whatever, and they go on and they bring in Saha and let him record on songs that you want to take your verses off and go on the tour, you wouldn't feel some way about that? You know you know the man that I am? I'm, I'm, it's a shame that this, this stuff don't get reported to the public, but you know the man that I am? Because I thought that it might be a problem with me... Uh, not wanting to be a part of Slaughterhouse anymore, I retired my own career personally. No, but I'm asking you why you were No, in no, it. no, but that's the answer. No, no, why that's, you were that, in it that is not, the, that, not when you thought about but, retiring. But that is, no, not when I, no, 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 you're missing what I'm saying. I wasn't thinking about retiring. I started, I started something, me. I started something, it stopped being fun, it wasn't the most valuable, and some other things were going to place, the business wasn't right, blah, 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 like, some things happen. And rather than say, yo, fuck niggas, and go put out three albums a year, I just stopped. Uh, right. So that's who I am. No, okay. So when you well, asked me I, what I would have did. Yeah. You wouldn't feel some type of way about that? I always, no. I, no. You're lying. Well, you spoke to Royce, so you could call. I, all I got is my history. You, I, you, I'm the person that called Royce and suggested that Sahai join. Okay. That's who I am. Well, what I'm saying and I'm is tired this. of my character being just spoken no, 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 about no, no, no. the wrong I'm, way. I'm talking Nigg about niggas received those calls. I'm talking about if you had a just listen to what I'm saying. If you had a a, a situation in the studio while y'all were recording and y'all had an argument, whatever, and you like, yo, some things were said to you. And you like, you know what? All right, cool. I'm out. You felt like niggas disrespected you, they said some crazy shit to you, and you was like, yo, you know what? I'm out. If you if if Saha was on the same album you the records you were on two days later, and they took you off of that. You wouldn't feel some way about that? They, they did that. And, you I, and you didn't feel no way about that? And I talked it. You, I'm asking you, did you and feel... And I talked it. I'm asking you, did you and feel... And I talked it. Did you feel any way about it? Yeah, but if we having a feelings talk, I started this with... I have a lot of feelings about I'm things. I'm just asking you if you... I'm talking to y'all about the feelings just, that adult men have to not only tuck... I understand that. ...but express... And deal with. That's what I'm talking about. I totally understand that. You niggas left your job, that's, more. That's not what happened, Joe. Joe, you looked me in my face and told me this show was none of my business. Yeah. That's what you told me. I was there. That's not crazy to you? <sighs> Is that not crazy to you? If you say no, it's no. Like, I'm not here to put my how I'm designed yeah, on anybody else, bro. I'm asking you. Well, if it's one thing that we should have all learned from this is you can't do that. Okay, yeah, you absolutely. You can't. I'm just asking you. If somebody told it's something you you helped build and pushed and didn't and never really argued about shit, just kept looking, fuck it, let's keep it moving, let's keep doing what we're doing. And they tell you years later, yo, this is none of your business. I don't think I should have said that to you. I don't think you should have said that either, but I'm asking you, if somebody said it to you- I also do not think that that was, should, should have been, because I don't get to speak uh, what should have happened. What what did happen? I don't think it should have been the domino that you sitting here saying that it was. But I can't tell it you wasn't. how to feel about some. That shit. wasn't the domino. That was that was like, oh, that was the oh oh okay. Mo, you rode with Rory before that. How you think I looked at that? What you mean I rode with him? That was the O. About him, about you telling him not about to come him in? anything. About you telling him about not to come in? Of course, him. Of course, any. And of course I, I'm a ride with And I would like you to speak to I want you I'm not dealing with him right now I'm looking that. at you And I understand that I want you he's to our, speak to what our, that means He's our co-host That fucks up the chemistry of this whole thing If you if you remove him If you remove you If you remove Paul It fucks up the whole chemistry That's what you not understand Well I hate to be the guy to break it to you 
Well, let me not say that because that's not true. I feel, I hate to be the guy to break this to you. I don't foresee any world in the world where you're supposed to ride with Roy. What? I don't. <laughs> How do you figure that? And, and let's, let's, let's clear it up from my perspective. Hey, there. how do you figure that? I'm, hey, it's, it's I'm here to pod. It's I'm here to pod. Any, no, let's, let me be clear. I'm here to pod. I'm riding for the show. Okay, so I'm here to pod. You look nuts. You're no, it's, it's, no. I look nuts. No, 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 no. You, you, you sound nuts perceiving it that way. Yeah, it was it's riding a, for the show. It was riding for the show. Yeah. Like, that's not, it wasn't even about Rory. It, more it was wasn't you like, yo, you my man. Like, it was not, nuts. Not to the show. record. Like, that was nuts to me. Like, riding for the show is making sure that 30 or however many people that are attached to the show are okay. That's riding for the show. No, riding for, riding the, show for the show is obviously two people that are a major part of the show have an issue. And you telling one of them not to come in. And now I'm sitting here like, the riding part would have been, yo, let's all get in the room and talk about this. Let's talk about what's going on. But you telling him not so to So you don't record. even see a world where that where that even looks funny. You don't even understand no, that. No, because it wasn't what you trying to point paint it to be is not what it is. For me, it was simply like, yo, fam, that's our Oh, wait, dog. time out. I don't want you That's our code. All right, stop, 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 stop. Because I don't want this to appear like I'm trying to paint it away. I'm trying to get y'all to speak to what things look like from a perspective outside of your own. I'm not trying to paint it that listen, way, so I don't I, want I it to totally, come off listen, that way. I totally get it. But what I'm saying is you saying me riding with Rory is nuts. I ride with anybody I fuck with. I ride with any, like, if it's if you wrong, you wrong. I don't care if me and you are best friends. If you're wrong, I'm going to tell you you're wrong. You was wrong to tell Rory not to come in and record. That was wrong. That was wrong. That You should have never done that, bro. That should never happen. Who should have done it? It should have never been said. You can't, don't, you can't tell Rory don't come in and record. Parks. Well, I actually would like to hear Roy's perspective on this because he kind of agreed that he shouldn't come in and record. No, I, I agree when he... Yeah, but he agreed because he was agreeing. Well, no, no, let, me, let, let, let me finish. Go ahead. When I got that text initially, I was like, all right, it's probably has to do with our attention. And yeah. after the explanation point on the text and all that, I'm like, I'm not fucking with this dude right now. I'll hit him in like a few days. Uh-huh. Then I got more information from people that wasn't him about things that had to do with me and him and more. And I was like, all right, this is getting super weird. It's so much third party shit going on here. I don't even operate Bro, this way. Not about and I got on my private shit too. So I'm not hitting him. Fuck that. So did I agree that we needed to talk or maybe, maybe taking some episodes off might've been a better idea. Cause those last few episodes were super trash with the tension that we had. It was just bickering. It's, it sounded bad. Uh-huh. Agreed. Uh-huh. But that is a conversation that needed to be had. And that was Maul's point the entire time. Maul was not riding specifically Rory, whatever. It could have been any other person that could have been here for the last seven years. It's, it's, it's riding listen, for the I'm, show. I'm, I'm That's why I didn't even team, look at man. this as some like fucking I'm riding with you, you riding with I'm, me. This I'm is teams within team, our man. team. It's not that, that, that type of shit. Wrong. We that riding for the wrong. overall goal. Did we go about it wrong? Hell yeah. That but, was wrong. That that's falls on everybody. And that's one thing I do with all of my niggas. I don't care. I tell you when you're wrong. Like, fam, that's wrong. You went about that the wrong way. You shouldn't have said that. You shouldn't have done that. It wasn't about riding with Rory. It's about being on the right side of the of the situation. That's foul. For you to tell Rory not to come in and record? Huh? And even more to his point of riding, you and I didn't even really have real beef. <laughs> Like we had some disagreement and some tension. It's it like, wasn't a division where people had to choose sides and we was out here. Like, nah, it's, it's that's not the right way to go about this. Listen, man, I'm just designed. If you're wrong, you're wrong, and I'll tell you when you're wrong, and you was wrong for that. If you call that riding for Rory, then okay, call it riding for Rory. I have no, no problem no. riding with Rory. I have no problem no. riding for Parks. Riding, for, I've, I've rode for you. Like, I have no problem riding for niggas when I fuck with them. But I'm gonna tell everybody that I fuck with when they're wrong, and you were wrong for that. And then to compound that, you saying what you said to me was really nuts. I'm like, wait, hold. Now I really don't know what's going on. You tell Rory not to come in and record, and then you tell me this show was none of my business. I hate to be, I, I don't want to make it uncomfortable by saying this, but I am the person that is supposed to tell Rory, yo, dog, you should chill for a few. You can tell Rory that if that's something that all of us talk about. Yes, yeah, a conversation. Like, that's the part you're missing. That's, that's something, because now I'm, I'm sitting here as no co-host. The, the chemistry is just, oh, now if he's sick, that's different. But then when you know it's tension and it's an issue, it was, and then you tell somebody not to come in. It was tension for months. Neither, one, no, of you, talking, neither I, one of you niggas called my I, phone. I'm talking about when you, nobody. T- it was well, tension we, we for spoke, months. But when we had this talk, we, we tried to for set months. up. We tried to set up a date. Long before uh, you inviting me to your hands. I agree. It was tension long Which, by the way, that narrative, where do you have to stop? Because you kind of started that, but it's cool. 
It's on tape. What the hell? I know. I, know. I was just I didn't the second start person to say it. <laughs> Star right important. now is important. saying that I need we should it's square up and Joe stop running from Rory. <laughs> <laughs> it's not important. A, I don't it, want to fight you. It's all love. Everything is cool. Yeah, um, but I, I listen, man. There's an art to shaking the tree. But see, and then you, and then you, even you saying I look nuts, Rod for Rory. That lets me know that I'm just I'm just built way different from niggas, man. But that's okay. It is okay. That's one thing I learned, and a lot of this. Is that yo? I'm just built different. I'm not. I'm not with this. Yo, don't. I'm not riding with that. That's that was crazy for you to call to text Rory that. And then when he asked you what you meant, you didn't even offer an explanation. That was even more nuts. My ears are like this. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody else. Said something. I don't know what to say to that. It's, okay. Well, you like, don't, don't know what to say, but have... you know who you talking. You talking to them all. And you know how I'm designed. I don't give a fuck what nobody else think. Then nobody else thinking affects me at all. I know that I'm right in what I'm saying. You telling Rory not to come in, and then when him trying to ask for an explanation, you giving him the exclamation point? It's like at least you didn't even want to tell him why he shouldn't come in. You didn't even want to have a conversation then. And so then when me and you have a conversation, then you say what you said to me. Now I'm totally confused. Like, all right, what the fuck is going on? You understand what I'm saying? So I'm so if you say Ron for Rory, no, I yeah, don't I understand because I sent Rory and and told him what I thought needed to be happened to salvage friendship and business. Immediately after hitting Rory, I hit you, and I hate that I have to go down this timeline because to me, so what still? But let's do it. Uh, immediately after I hit you to say pull up on me and let's talk. That was a Saturday. You told me you were coming. You did not. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sunday you hit me. You said my bad. I was coming. You did not. Right. Mm-hmm. Monday, you didn't hit me at all, right? Mm -hmm. And then Tuesday, you show up to our, our, our place of business Mm -hmm. to have a conversation when we should be working about why I asked Rory to stay home. Mm -hmm. Yes, well, to me, that will never make sense. Okay. That will never make sense. It's not a, the, the courtesy and the friendship vibe was me hitting you so we could have a conversation about why I thought this needed to occur. That was the last ditch effort. That mm-hmm. wasn't like the first. That wasn't me. That wasn't initiating trying to troubleshoot. That was the, oh, shit, wait a second. Wait a second. Shit is off in here. It's conversations going on. It's rumblings, walls and streets. It's talking. It's fist of cups. It's, it's a lot going on. The shows is trash. It looked bad. That was a lot going on. Now, whose decision was it to weigh? All of the things that were wrong in that moment. I should leave that to us. Yeah. The three niggas that didn't do no communicating to the months leading up to all of the shit. No. Yeah. No, that's one. And two, I'm back to my car facts with niggas. I, I didn't need this moment to know that I am built differently than other people. But what we will have is our friend history with everyone individually. Forget Rory. I feel... Don't yell at me and don't get up to hit me either. <laughs> Say it. I'm chilling, bro. If you ever looking for who, what Joe's character looks like, all you got to do is look back in the last 15 years. You don't need him. He didn't exist. Mm-hmm. He wasn't there. Mm-hmm. Nothing about Rory exists in the world that I'm talking about with you. Mm-hmm. We have X amount of years Mm -hmm. living together Mm -hmm. in confidence. I don't need to say what goes into that. Mm -hmm. You and I know what's going on. Mm -hmm. We should never be talking about a Rory ever. But this is not one of those instances where we go to the club and somebody can't get in. This is one of the instances where, oh, the other side to this, if we not friends and it's not feeling friendly in here is I'm going to treat it like it's not friendly in here. Yeah, but you which ain't right. Which ain't right. Stop. No, 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 no. Wait, let me finish getting my shit off. Let me finish getting my shit off. Boy, you niggas peed me off. Let me get this out of me. Let me get this out. Talk. Rory don't get the question how I ride neither. It's not something you got to think about. It's not something you got to freestyle and try to imagine. We got a few years. Mm -hmm. Joe show up. It ain't nothing to check books about. It ain't nothing to check podcast they bond accountant look at the footage about joe show up i think it's corny to remind niggas how i show up but if you look back joe show up for you 
having nothing to do with him. And same for him. Y'all don't get to tell me I don't respect y'all. Of course, y'all have feelings, so you can tell me that, and I'm a, and I'm I, appreciate it. I never it. said that. I never said you didn't respect me. I said based on our conversation, which you said. Yeah, mom, but you don't. It, you it don't. questions. It questioned where the respect was. But whatever. And and that whole, and I apologize that whole for that. And, you did. And I apologize. Absolutely. We just no, talked And about I'm doing it, it again. Okay. And I, I'm doing it again. Understood. And that whole riding point. I'm not saying you're wrong in saying you two have your own separate history. You and I have our separate history. The three of us have history. Maul wasn't riding for your friendship and his friendship or my friendship and Maul's friendship or your friendship and my friendship. It was riding for the show. So, so I see what you're saying. Of Yes, have you shown up for me all the time? I've shown up for you all the time. Yes, all this and that. You guys got fucking two decades in. No, we're just talking about the show at that point. That's it. We're not riding for any personal history. It's a, hey, this show is starting to feel a little fucked up. We should talk about it. Now, did the three of us handle that incorrectly? Again, I'm repeating myself. Yes. That's why I think a lot of this back and forth shit that we're doing now is kind of yeah, pointless. But that's, yeah, but, because, no, but it's because not. Because it's, it's separate points to what really happened. But it's not pointless. There, there's some poetic justice in it. And that's why early I was like, yo, tell me any other workplace in the world where this chain of events could happen. Because we start at y'all questioning maybe my friendship or my respect level, right? Or just some things that should exist between us, right? And then we end with having to lean on that very same friendship to say, all right, all that other shit that wouldn't fly nowhere else in the world, it can happen here because that's my man. That's not odd. <laughs> I mean, we've, we've done that for I'm not going to talk to Maul because yes. <laughs> me and Maul don't come from corporate shenanigans and workplace stuff. You, though. That's where I come from. You, though. Tell me where that can happen at. You tell me. Come on, I don't want to make it sound like I'm but, talking Spanish. But, but I, I don't know what you say in that, that capacity. You say that in corporate. another job, you couldn't uh, storm out and, not, uh, and come back six weeks later. And I've, I've, like I've, go, I've gone through all this with, with, to do. with Palooza that's also a multi-million dollar business of friends having these same types of problems. So yes, you can say there's a corporate side of shit. I argue But that. we ain't corporate and neither was Palooza. Did we partner with corporate, corporate people? Don't, sure. Don't, but that's not how the infrastructure of our shit went. Bad example. No, this, it's a great example. Horrible. This will never stop. Well, P- Palooza stopped because of COVID. <laughs> this will never stop, was my words. So it's a horrible example. There's not a world that Palooza, exists. Palooza where, didn't stop because of uh, friends my statement, back. My, my statement is not about Palooza. I don't care what you niggas do. I'm talking about this. This will <laughs> never stop. It's y'all's to participate in like our fucking contract says. And there's no uncomfortable conversation that me and Maul could have that change what we legally bind, bound to do. I said that to y'all privately. I'll say it here, too. Sure. There's nothing y'all could say to me. I said this in your absence. There is nothing a friend could say to me that ends the friendship. I need to see more. No, you have to do something, nigga. Your character going to have to shine. But your words, that's not Joe. That's not to diminish anybody that that happens for. But that's never been who that's never been. And, me. And, and nor is it it's us because we sitting here talking about it. We we, we gave the, the history of the last month of where people felt on certain things and when we was trying to go through shit. We sitting here now because we feel the same fucking way. <laughs> if it was just based off, if Maul really felt like you I saying y'all the show's not your business, you think he'd be sitting here? I don't want to. No, he knows it's his business. <laughs> like, Rory, and this is where we just view things differently on friendship. Because Maul and I are friends or call ourselves friends, I would have thought we could get to the friendship conversation at any point. We're friends, which is what I called from Park's backyard and said, yo, dog, if you never pod again, we're going to (laughs) talk. I said that. Mm. I'm consistent in my. No, I didn't say it to you. Mm. That's all I'm saying, man. That's all I'm saying. I want y'all to speak to. Actually, no, I don't want y'all more. I want Parks to speak to what happens in alternate world if things did not go this way. It could have been bad. It could have been bad. Hey, y'all can choose now for it to be understatements if you want. Give Saban a mic then. Give Erickson a mic then. Give Alex a mic. Give the accountants a mic. Give the lawyers. Give everybody a mic. It ain't time for understatements. That's how Joe's rep takes the fucking hits. Every time. Because it's understatements. When miraculous shit is going on. 
It is miraculous. I went shit. to therapy with Rory on my off day mm-hmm. with my fucking kid. What are y'all saying in here? I want to hear where else you could have that type of smoke with not with the with the person at your job that is responsible for the job. Leave it and then go to therapy for the problems and come back. That's the shit that won't get spoken about. But why? Like, I commend the niggas that came. Thank God. I never saw the day. What day what? That, that y'all would not be here. I never saw the day with you when you would look me in my face and tell me this was none of my business. I never saw that day. Is it on? Is it your business in a contract that we have? Fuck that contract. See? I'm talking to you. <laughs> See? I don't give a because I don't you talking you to because you talking to a nigga that don't give a co- no. you know why? Because you talking to a nigga that don't care about contracts and I'm talking to a nigga that's on record saying you, he No, you a talking to a contracts. nigga that you lived with for probably over a decade. What I'm saying No, you're not talking to a nigga that is talking about contracts. I'm talking, Let's keep I'm me talking, in my proper I'm life. T- I'm talking to a nigga that don't give a fuck about contracts as well. Bingo. That's true. So so we not talk. We me and you are never talking that's about why, contracts. That's why I'd be mad at you niggas. Man. Like like I told, I told niggas, I'm not mad at niggas shaking the tree. Like, please, it wasn't I about, will it, never man, be mad at It wasn't that. about shaking the tree. Word. You, this is what you the missed. It, it, was, quiet through the whole shit. it wasn't about shaking the tree. Bro, was, shut up. Mom followed me. What are you talking about? <laughs> you know why? I'm what are you too? talking about? Do you know why? I'm Come on. I, no. I, we spoke about it. I would like to hear why you unfollowed him. Me too. Fam, this nigga <laughs> was posing all this corny shit with the show. This shit was oh, looking look nasty, bro. I wasn't trying to see that shit. It was looking nasty, bro. <laughs> it was looking nasty. Facts. I'm just telling you what it is. I didn't want to see that. I didn't want to see something that I had a hand in building looking the way it was looking. Just being honest. It was looking bad. So I'm like, y'all don't want to see this shit. So I followed him. <laughs> Your mom. It's simple for me. I'll tell you what it is. Nigga, I don't I don't I don't have none of my none of my actions. I'm gonna tell you why I did what I did and when I did it. <laughs> Simple. I, well, I've, you I was still follow me. Yeah, I was still. I was on record, and, and Morgan said, "Tim and I had conversations. I, I didn't like any of the, the social media shit. I said to you and to both of you, stop, stop with this. This, this is gross." But I didn't say nothing on social media. It was just there'd be, you were there'd be tweets from bit. from everybody. But more, what I, I didn't what like I'm, it. I thought it was corny. I thought it was weird. I didn't this, think we were those type of guys. This is what I'm asking <laughs> you, like, shouldn't? Well, I can't ask you that because you said the show should stop. I understand. You got it. Yeah, I was absolutely. about to say, so niggas shouldn't, like my have, thing is, y'all niggas think shouldn't have tweeted people, their people, fucking... People, people go... People, listen, there's, there's, there's world-class entertainers that go through this type of shit. Shows have stopped. Live tours have stopped. Like, it happens. You don't just pick up and, and, and put two random... And I want to say it again, love and respect to Aishan as I fuck with them. Those are my niggas. But you don't just pick up random pieces and say, the show must go on without trying to fix something. That's not how it works. So y'all saying, oh, we had this... There's people that generate billions of dollars of years that have gone through the same exact shit. Same exact shit. Some of the, our favorite television shows go through the same exact shit. The star of the show isn't happy with contracts and this, that, and the third. They don't just start production and filming the show without, without them. They try to fix it. And if it can be resolved, it's resolved. If not, okay, we just got to try to find a way. We, the person moved. They're writing in the story. Yo, he moved somewhere. He's no longer living in the city. Whatever. They try to make anything happen. Mm-hmm. Martin, when him and Gina was going through real life shit, they filmed without them being on set. They was never in the same room. They had a job in different cities. You find a way to... But you don't just put new people in the, in the spot and say, oh, this is him and this... No. That's not what happens. You can stop production on something. You can stop filming something. It's not the end of the world. But it... I, I don't think it would have took six weeks. Not based on the conversation we had uh, uh, a week ago. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't think it would have took that long. But I'm just saying, you're saying something when you do that. You're saying something when you do that. And we all know what that's saying. And, and again, I don't, I don't have an ego, bro. I don't. To me, that's corny shit. That is ego, though, more. No, it's not that ego. That is the exact definition of ego. Of what? What you're saying. Of me saying that I don't, I don't care if, 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 if you record and move on. I, I'm just saying that I think that it would have been better to try to work it out. The same way you scrambled to try to find somebody to fill in, I told you. That's the same way you should have scrambled to say, you don't think hey, you could have did both? If you don't show up to a bunch of uh, potential meetings to try to work things out, how, how is he supposed to feel? But Joe, we were supposed to have a meeting before all of this happened, and he canceled before. So it happens. Sure. It happens. You understand what I'm saying? Like, But my thing is, when you try to move on and put two... 
other people on the show that me and Rory helped build, mm -hmm. that's saying something. What does it say when you leave what you helped build? I understand what you're saying. I what just want it, you to speak you know, to the stop, other side stop, of it. Stop, because you agreed to what I said and what happened. Yeah. I left it. We had a we had a conversation even when you and I were not on good terms. We spoke because we both care about this fucking podcast. You say, hey, yeah. We were sitting up in, in your upstairs room. Yo, everyone go in their respective corners. Let's figure out what each of us want out of this shit. And let's 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 try to keep it as timely as, as possible. At this I point, you, I, I even think you, that's a you, valid question. I like, sent you, I sent you, let me finish. Y'all want a pod? I sent you what exactly I was feeling on that with a list of, of certain things. Like, oh, this is easy. We can get all this shit done. Like we was on the type of time of keeping this shit moving forward, even when we was on bad terms before you and I started working through our bullshit. Like it was still like, yo, all right, what's going on with this? This is our shit. So I I cannot let you tell these listeners that Maul and I abandoned ship because it's not what happened. We agreed. You and I sat there, say, yo, let's get in our respective corners. It's better this way because there's a bunch of tension on this podcast. It's going to sound like pure fucking shit. If we agreed, then it wouldn't have been a problem. <laughs> You're That's telling me now that I abandoned the fucking ship and we both agreed that we should... The three of us should figure out what we're trying to do within this pod and let's do it in a timely take, manner too. I'll take account. Like, if you want to say that so easy. I abandoned the ship, then I'll take account. And when I, when I left here, I'll take that. But if you think that you was going to look me in my face and tell me this show is none of my business and I was going to record, you got them all fucked up. You know that wasn't happening. That was never happening. Yeah, Nobody think, can never talk to me I think it's that. unfortunate that that's all you heard in that conversation. Well, I I'm heard everything. Gonna, I'm not going to assume that. You might have heard, heard everything. everything. You might have heard everything. That, to me though, nah. You can't, you can't, you can't tell me. You can't tell me that. You can't tell Yo, me. Yo, I'm with you. I shouldn't have said that to you. But if I say that to you and then you leave and then don't show up for the next however many weeks and then somebody else sit down and do an okay job, you can't get mad at that. Right? I wasn't no no no. I wasn't mad at that's not that's not what I'm mad at. Well you can't That's not what I'm mad at. You can't have no smoke for the people that come sit I in. I don't have smoke for nobody. If I had smoke for niggas, niggas know. No, you had smoke for niggas on. I've seen you. You tweeted. You had a few moments. Who? On Twitter where you had to, you know what I mean? I, it don't matter. I didn't have smoke for nobody. I don't have smoke for nobody, bro. Now, people may have said things and I may have just like laughed, but that ain't smoke for nobody. Are you guys, come on, let me, let me get to the tough questions, man. Are, are, you, are you guys unhappy, overworked, underpaid? Oh, do y'all hate me? Like no, no stories. Come on, get, get to it. None of that. Get, get, we gotta get like, to it. Like, 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 you know like the answers spoke, to the questions. Yeah, we like, spoke. like we spoke. But if we want to, we ask them for them. If we want to answer it me. here, if we want to answer it here, my issue was simply respect and transparency when it came to business. That was it. That's all. I I, I didn't have an issue with nothing else. Nothing else. My issues are very short. Respect and transparency. What's going on with the business? Why have we never seen this? Why have we never seen that? Why we don't know what's going on with this? Why we don't know what's going on with that? That was it. It was that simple for me. It wasn't nothing deep. It wasn't nothing like that couldn't be resolved, spoken about. Nothing. Like I said, for me, shit went left when you said what you said. That's when my energy changed. And it was like, oh, okay. Well, then cool. This is so not the song. <laughs> no, I'm just, uh, or, is it, or is it perfect? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Mike check one two one two. Mike check one two one two. Yo, How y'all feeling out there? Crazy. Hey. Uh, <laughs> oh God. Men and their feelings. <laughs> oh my God, man. I told. I told. I did. This is what. Oh. And a lot of that for people listening is kind of just a rehash of a way longer six seven hour conversation that the three of us had last week. We're, yeah. we're all in a better space. I know it sounded like maybe we're still mad. We're, we're oh, cool. We're no, cool, guys. dissecting this down. <laughs> you talking about? Hey, you could throw out a... Hey, I saw I mean, about I, I, nine million think pieces. Of, will they make it? The yeah. network is failing. Oh, no, it's all bad. <laughs> Respect yeah. and transparency, bro. That's all. That's all, I, that's all, I, that's all I'm ever talking about. How do you feel about podcasting as like a profession? I think this is super dope. I, that's why I said to me, this is it for us to even have issues in this is is crazy because this to me this is the easiest. So now for us, I, I, this is I, shit that we would, was doing before it was even a name for this shit. I, exactly. So, so now, how so do you now feel, that you, how do you both feel about being those guys now? The guys that beefed when money came around. 
Uh, well, well, we weren't nope, beefing, that's right? Us. Nope, around. that's us. Too no, late. that's Get not. No, that's Look. not. That's Get not. That's, that's us. That's us. That's not us. That's yeah, not that's us. us. Doom, doom, doom. Uh, that's that not is us. not us. That's, that's not us. Doom, doom, doom. Yeah, that's us. Respect and transparency. I've never brought bro. up a dollar. That's all I'm. That's all I'm ever beefing about. If I feel like there's no respect and no transparency, that's it. Anything else, we can we can hash that up. And I'm never beefing over money. Never. It either, it either is or it isn't. That's all. Respect. Respect, man. That, that's all. If you have respect, you, you have everything. Even when you dead broke. If you have respect for each other, you have everything. Y'all niggas are going to be okay. Two broke niggas, as long as they respect, they're going to be all right. It's something they're going to find a way. The money just, you know, that's, that's, that's when it becomes, if anything, the money is what's going to kind of sort of Reveal a lot of things for you. They always say you want to know who your friends are. Sit at a table and put a bunch of money on the table, and watch the conversations that happen. Doesn't change you; just makes you more what you already are. That's it. But as long as you respect each other, like so that, money should have worked itself out. So, what you think I'm more of now? <laughs> what do you think? No, let me hear. Yes, me, um, and don't edit it. <laughs> let me, let me, uh, don't, don't go on Bridget and I'm in sense of nigga. City, city, those here weren't subs towards you though. I know <laughs> that was, a, here, I know that was a theory, but that Boy, had nothing to do with you. I thought that was slide. Oh, this nigga went on my girl podcast <laughs> on my network, said fuck your network, and I don't care about Biden. Suck my dick. I said, oh shit. I and more don't think I'm calling this nigga. I called him Monday night. Here, yeah, you good? <laughs> No, you can't do that, man. That's not... Oh, <laughs> oh such a liar. <laughs> That's not what you did. It was filmed. <laughs> he engineered... He was in there. I was there. You engineered you calling me on Monday say, night? No, no. <laughs> that you, never you happened. You're you just like, making shit up. You did say you don't like podcasting. That's the joke. He no, embellished it, obviously. That's the joke. He said that. No. Let, let he me, said let that. Me clarify That's a bit... That. No, let, oh, you clarify first. Get, let me, get let me clarify that. Get to it. Let me... I thought I made it clear, but we always, you know, we never understand how people are going to take things we say. Mm-hmm. And my passion about podcasting, as in I want to go out and create a whole bunch of podcasts and, and start a network and grab all these other talented people that I think could be dope for podcasting and put them together and then maybe me start a bunch of other podcasts. Like, that's not where my passions lie. Right. Am I passionate about this, this business that we created together? Am I mm-hmm. passionate about you guys? Am I passionate about this shit? Mm-hmm. 100%. I don't feel like you should be able to say we created it together if you leave it so freely. I, we've addressed that. And, I know. You, and you've agreed with it and then danced around it and then agreed with it again and then did more semantics. So I'm not going to address that anymore. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> let's please kill that narrative because I don't want yeah, that like this. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. And you agreed with that's it. That's not what happened. On air just now. He engineered it. We didn't abandon, <laughs> we didn't abandon, abandon our podcast. No, we did not. Things were said. Things were done. And, and don't fucking okay. do that. You know what the fuck I was doing behind the scenes, scrambling, trying to get this shit. You, you got some nerve, too. <laughs> I know, Roy, you were scrambling. And you got some my, fucking nerve. My, 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 and, and my point, and I don't want you to think it's me, but yeah, you have to view things from every angle. Yeah, you were scrambling. I thought it was it was great. You kept in communication with Maul. I talked to Rory. Me. I was, I, no, I was, trying, to, I was, trying, to get, I was trying to get hey, every last tweeting. thing that needed to be addressed, addressed and done in a timely and respectful manner because... Y'all did take long. And because accountability... Took, took, it took, took, took me took, took, took me a little long. while. It took y'all me a few long. episodes to listen. Took, and I tried to encourage you... Accountability to me is not just saying taking accountability. Accountability to me is with in actions. So... If there was something that I feel that I wronged in the podcast, and mm-hmm. I can only I'm only responsible for my actions, I can't speak for anyone else's. Mm-hmm. I I have to do my part to fix what may I deem something wrong I did within this podcast, mm-hmm. and that was with in actions. We could talk all fucking day, yo. Yeah, I shouldn't have done that, man. But let's let's try to fix it. If, and again, if we can't fix it, it was a good run, guys. But uh, we at least owe that seven years to try. Come on, I'll ask the tough questions. Uh, damn, I forgot the fucking question. It was a good one. What did you just say? Uh, accountability behind the scenes, t- t- jumping ship, abandoning you dancing. Could the friendship have been uh fixed if y'all never returned to the pot? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Like I said, it it wasn't about it wasn't about the pot. Like I, it wasn't about that. I told y'all straight up respect. That's all I wanted to know. And I asked you if the respect was still there as friends. 
All right, I will not. That was all I wanted to know. I will not overcomplicate matters. Yeah, no, it's nothing to overcomplicate. I mean, I, I, we owe it to the listeners of what happened, and you know, long story short, that's what happened. That's what was being spoken about behind the scenes. Um, but yeah, no, we didn't abandon anybody. We didn't. We didn't think it would take as many weeks as it did. And mm. and and to be clear, Joe was the one that said a month on the show. He gave that timeline. That wasn't. I didn't speak to him about a month. Rory didn't speak to him about a month. That's something that he said. So it was like, okay, cool, whatever. Niggas got my number. My number worked. Is it respect? Yeah. All right, cool. That's all. Simple. I'm simple, man. I don't complicate nothing. As long as niggas respect me, we could we could have any conversation in the world. Okay. Look at us. <laughs> Can't wait to see what those timestamps read like over there. <laughs> oh, don't go get some water, man. <laughs> Shout out to Creed, man. Did you feel that same way when you left Complex for the people that work specifically on that show? What is that? Did you feel the same, the same way you said in, in, in what I'm going to call semantics of you saying, yes, we employ people on this podcast. There is a staff here that relies on this money the same way all of us rely on money for the, from this podcast. When you left Complex, I know there was, I do know there was people there that were probably not complex employees. They were, you know, uh, 1099, Freelance. just, yeah. yeah, you're just, you're getting hired for, for that specific thing. And mm-hmm. I, I remember everyday struggle to be, to be a pretty popular fucking show. Uh, did you feel that same way when you left? Well, same way. The uh, there's, there's a lot of people that rely on everyday struggle right now. Um, outside of myself that have built their career around this. If I leave here, Maybe they'll miss a steady paycheck because it was an every it was an everyday show. So I know I'm sure a lot of people that were gaffers and camera guys or whatever, that was a consistent paycheck. It was like, all right, I'm, I can't even take gigs right now because I got to do this shit Monday through Thursday. I'm glad you asked that. Let me clear up a common and miscon- I wasn't coming mis- at you. I'm, I'm just curious if, if you thought I that. would never feel like you coming at me at, coming at me. Here's the kicker: I never left Complex. I never voluntarily left Complex. I never said, yo, I'm not coming into work at Complex. That's not what happened at all at Complex. I understand that when I come in here, and that's what I'm saying about there being an art to shaking a tree. I come in here and I go on these rants, and you pull from it what you pull from it. But if you pull the wrong shit, then you miss the whole thing altogether. Rory, before that Complex job started, it was a Monday through Thursday thing. And if you paid more, then we could do Fridays. They started, I they started uh, pulling tricks with the Friday. I still was showing up. Monday through Thursday. I remember. And I just and wasn't really. coming in Friday. And then they pulled the shenanigans. Oh, no, I, I meant the, I I meant was, the renew. And the, the, the re-up on the But there on was the no, no renew because the company decided not to renew my contract because I wasn't playing ball with Fridays and I was costing them money. I could never feel what like the way you're saying because I'm aware that the show must go on. Even if you created it. Boy, talk about a hard pill to swallow there. The show goes on even if you created it. That is a fact. So when we as men go to bed at night, we got to face with back to that replaceable shit Maul said earlier. Well, we're all replaceable. So now the question is, who are you replacing me with? And that's what it was. Hey, you could get rid of me, but in getting rid of me, you better know that you got a seat to fill. And they tried it. They brought in star the most controversial, the father niggas. That's it. A- Akin star. I'm sure the suit said smash. What happens is not smash. <laughs> oh, bring somebody else. In. But that's not because I was like, fuck y'all, suck my dick. I want to ruin the show. I thought that was the best thing ever created. Oh, no, no. The suit handled it wrong. That's where a lot of my past resentment towards y'all come from. But- because I have 20 years of seeing how the suits treat us. And I don't do y'all like that. And if y'all don't know that, and if y'all don't feel that, 
And if y'all don't see that, and if y'all don't trust and believe that, then yeah, we got a lot more problems than you inviting me to your hands every so, week. That's the least of the issues. Okay, so let, I don't want to accuse you of dancing. Give it to me. But from my understanding, from what I believe is recorded and on this podcast and was a big deal, yes, you did leave Complex because you felt the business dealings there when the, I believe it was a Spotify deal, maybe a Nike deal or something where you wanted to have... On Fridays. Yeah, you wanted yeah. to have some type of uh, revenue within each ad play. Mm -hmm. Yes. So there was a problem within the business. No, 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 but wait, hey, wait, wait, it. let me add something to you. Now, let me add something so, to you just so you know, back to the art of shaking and I know, the tree. And I, I wasn't there. I'm so giving I'm asking, this to you. I'm not saying what and happened. And you could keep this just going. from what I remember you telling me. No, I, no, it's much deeper than that. Okay. I thought that they were getting money that they would not be able to get without me. That's what happened. I thought that they were procuring deals that were solely predicated on my presence. And I had to go do a lot of snooping around, barging in offices, talking to people I wasn't supposed to talk to, just snoop. You know the fucking game to get the information and decide, you know what? All my chips into the table. All my chips into the table. I'm moving. And by the grace of God, at Complex at least, I was right. I was right. They put somebody else in the seat. The money disappeared. No, we're not paying for that. That's not, that, that is not what we purchased. I was home saying, hip, hip, hooray. Hip, hip, score one for the good guys. The suits did the wrong thing. They tried to just make a move based on the money, ignoring niggas' feelings, and you lost the money. That's what happened at Complex. Spotify, I was unhappy a year and a half before the contract. In year one, I was unhappy. In year one, they came back, shot niggas some, some, some crack, said, hey, take it. We said no, they got funny. I had another year and a half to go. And y'all, in conjunction with, had another year and a half to go. I finished it. And at the end of it, when we had, hey, y'all know I was doing a countdown. It's probably 20 podcasts left at around 14, maybe 11. I'm going to get to it. Right? Y'all remember? We was there, right? Yeah. At the end, after I had carefully weighed 20 million things, one of them being what the fans always go to. Well, if you treat one of your employers like that and you get out there and do one of your rants, then you're ruining your business. Running with this Charlemagne fucking fuckity fuck shit. It could never be more wrong. Every time I come in here to do it, as I explained to Rory, and this is not arrogance or ego. It's just how much thought is involved when I'm shaking the fucking tree. Every time I come in here to do it. Go on one of them rants about one of these fuck ass companies that's fucking black people, that's fucking white people, don't care about the creators. Hey, I went inside, I peeked behind the curtains. This was going on, y'all. I put my reputation at risk. I put my relationships at risk. I put my business at risk, my ability to feed my children at risk. I put future endeavors at risk. This ain't just for the fucking living room managers in the YouTube comments, fam. My life is dedicated to this. It is carefully vetted and sourced. Fuck Spotify. I say it now. Know why? Because I already spent the millions of hours it takes and looking at the thousands of variables that could exist in me saying, hey, wait a minute. What if I say fuck Spotify? Maybe that means Apple don't come. Well, thank God for us that wasn't true. Maybe that means Amazon don't come. Thank God for us that wasn't true. Maybe that means Patreon. Everybody came still. So I'm going to always look at this with extreme gratitude. Know why I learned long ago, hey, nigga, even the fans will say, so what? When Wayno hit that show, with some fans right there, we keeping this moving. We keeping this moving. We out. Wayno ain't so bad with act. I'm rolling. Hey, was it the same show? No. Was it profitable? Maybe. Did they continue to run it for years after? Yeah. <laughs> and Wayno's my friend. <laughs> Shout out to Wayno. Not L friend, love, but... Love, love Wayno. It's close to an industry friend as I'm going to have, right? We don't do Thanksgiving together, but y'all know Wayno's my guy. Pulled him in there for the first pull-up. Couldn't even kick it with him about my feelings, about what was going on. Know why? It's my friend. <laughs> I'm happy for him. I'm happy that he got that shot. Took that, went to the asylum, did that, then went over there. Like, Killing got his own podcast now. 
I'm happy. I didn't think a lot I didn't think otherwise. Goes I don't think anyone said in that you to weren't. shaking the tree. Fans will forget you in two seconds. That's not something Joe's making up. I've experienced it. Of course. And I, I don't Feeling think like the greatest rapper ever. I was there, nigga. I seen what would happen. So when I come in here and go on these long rants and the audience miraculous, miraculously just follows us wherever we go, I don't take it for granted. I don't take it for granted. I'm not saying that y'all do. Please, please don't. I'm not cause, saying cause that I, y'all do. But that, that's how important. But there is a lot that goes into shaking a tree. It is a talent. It is a gift. There is an art to it. And, it's a gamble. and it's a gamble. there is risk involved in it. It's a gamble. No, of course, and no more. Absolutely, and and to the point of how important this this show is to me, and why it's important to the fans. And my, and my have immense gratitude for the fans. Matter of fact, most of the conversations Ma and I did have the entire time were, man, we got to dress for the people that like actually fuck with us. Mm-hmm. Like, let's not say the entire audience but like you know the people that have rocked with us for, for this many years that we've even met at shows and shit like that they, they owed some explanation but when we were trying to get to the light at the end of the tunnel and get to a place where we could all sit back down it was like alright let's just get to that first because if we start addressing shit when it's in limbo it could be even weirder yeah. I take that gratitude for them like you would not fucking believe with that said this is so important to me this show is so important to me y'all as people are so important to me that yeah, fans forget you. That's not as important to me. If this shit can't get right, I mean, I, I had a career without fans before. I'll find a way. And that's just where we differ. Cool. Fair enough, yes. I, I get that. But that's how important this shit was to me. Do I, do I not value them like you would not fucking believe? But I value this shit more just because y'all are really here with me. Like, back to what Maul was saying. If you got people that you love and respect and are broke, that is more valuable than having a bunch of people that you're rich with that don't give a fuck about you. So, yeah. I, did I feel for the fans in that capacity? Did I really want to address that shit and talk to them? Of course, but this was more important to me. That's, that's really what it was. They built this entire thing, but they love it because we was cool. And if we ain't cool, and I'm not cool, and you not cool, you not cool, you not cool, y'all not cool, loses its value as fans too. So that, that's where my head was at. It, it wasn't a disrespect as if, if I didn't realize that people move on or fans will be upset at you and feel like they abandoned you. I totally understood all that, but I knew the root of why they even cared to begin with. And it was this. So let's try to fix this. <laughs> okay, I hate to be the bearer of bad news. <laughs> I didn't know how to say it. <laughs> but... And you have to say it because I, I want y'all to be clear on that relationship with fans. They not our friends. No, that's why I said this was more important to me, that they that they they will move on and they will move on to the next thing. I understand that. That's why instead of immediately trying to address them and, and talk about it all the time and really connect right away and what was going on. No, th- this is what's valuable to me right now. And it's valuable I'm valuable to them because of this and everything we do together. Well, the people love you guys. Well, no, no, no. It's, it's a us thing. And like, I love you guys, too. I don't want to say yeah. the people. So, yeah, we got to make sure this is right. Because if this was never right, they wouldn't love us. <laughs> so, yeah, my, my, I'm sorry. The, the listeners were not the top of my priority when I knew what was going on internally amongst us. And I, and I thought uh, that first episode back, I thought you handled it well. I, th- I thought it was great. I thought they got something at least where it wasn't like, okay, there's just nobody here now. And we're just going to pod like everything is okay. Mm. So I, I thought you handled that first episode great. And I was like, all right, that, that buys us some time to try to get this shit together. But yeah, I, I feel you. No, fans move on. Like they're fucking, they're listeners. They're going to move on. They enjoy podcasting. They can move on to the next podcast. I'm fully aware of that. I do not sit here and think, yo, it's mad people that just literally only care what I have to say. I know they love this show. And when what the dynamic you- is fucked up, then who cares about me? Who cares about you? Who cares about anybody? <laughs> What do you have to say to the people that believe that both of you guys' weight loss is due to a breakup diet? <laughs> <laughs> well, I have, I, I have made it, I have made it quite, quite clear. Uh, well, 
Maul told me he just did the juicing diet. Um, so I know where his come from. Yeah, mine, you know, I told y'all prior. I knew that Maul would be back after the Knicks win streak was over. <laughs> that's what did it. That's, that's, that's I mean, if you, th- if you think about it, coincidence? Hmm. That's a, yeah. Knicks get on track? Yeah. yeah no, nah, this nigga's starting <laughs> to get shaped like Julius Randle, nigga. That was the only part that was bad about some of the breakup, man. Like, I, I again, uh, I'm, we're extremely blessed, and I personally am thankful to all of the people that worked overdrive to hold this thing down. Um, yeah, and please, let me be clear. I, Hell yeah. I don't want Ice and... I, those are my niggas. I fuck with Ice and Ish. I don't want them to think that I got any smoke no, for no, them. No, I'm no. mad. Too late. It ain't, no, <laughs> it ain't no smoke for them. Those nah, are my niggas. Nah, 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 I, I learned, nah, I learned, I learned nah, about the Ice Coast now. today. Uh-oh, <laughs> Ice. You getting unfollowed. Ah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. No, no, no. no. <laughs> those, are my, those are my... I think Ice... I think he deleted his shit. He think he oh, he blocked you. No, I think he deleted his Oh, no pictures was posted? I think it's, oh, wow. I think That's it's hilarious. hilarious. But no, I, nothing against them. Like I said, it could have been anybody. It just, to me, just that, it just, that was just nasty. You know what I mean, it wasn't nothing personal with Ice and Ish. It could have been any two people. It, it just was, because that's not what this, that's that's not what it, what it is. It's not what the show is. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and for me, knowing what was going on internally and behind the scenes, it was like, you know. So if me, Ice and Ish do a podcast, you wouldn't be a guest? If you and I, Ice and Ish do a podcast, would I be a guest? I'm not saying I wouldn't be a guest, but... Could we get you to be a guest? Like you did on Cedar Thinking? <laughs> sure. Well, I don't like it. Yeah, I don't care. Yeah, Ish is like on my other podcast that I didn't invite you to. <laughs> I actually I actually put Ish in the podcasting before you, but I ain't even want to touch that. Look, look, cool. please. <laughs> look, 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 please. Look, please. Please in my copy. It's, it's, it's definitely nothing, 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 nothing to them. It's just... It just was. It just was like, nah. I don't. I don't want to look at that. That's just. You know. what I mean, like, you just see something that you, 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 you built. And you did you follow me at. back? No. Right. No. Nah. Not yet. Can Can we do it on air? Can we clear the air and do it on air? Yeah. Get the follow back. back. Wait. Did you unfollow after he? You didn't reciprocate. No. I know. I'm me. I don't. I'm not. Never doing that ever. You still want to see more? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He, he want to steal sauce. You know that. <laughs> I ain't nobody steal your sauce, nigga. You want to steal sauce? 